When you start looking at preparing a resume, you're gonna get lots of advice. Lots of advice. Don't even look at a Google search with the literally million plus responses. What you want to do is think about the resume in terms of does it sell you effectively? Does it make a hiring manager want to pick up the phone and talk to you? And I see some very common things that no matter what the content might be, kills people when they're trying to do that. So let's talk about a couple of the big knows that you may have missed. The first is no to functional resumes. Career counselors love them. Lots of, of authorities in the hiring world talk about them. Career changers love them. I used to too. But hiring managers? Hiring managers think, stop, something is wrong with this person and they're trying to hide it from me. That's not what you want the hiring manager to think. So go with a classic reverse chronological resume, most recent job first and so forth. Because that way a hiring manager can see your achievements in the context of the job you held, which tells them far more of what they want to know than great achievements, but I have no context for them. So that's the first piece, not a functional resume. The second piece, Lord knows where this has suddenly come up again, but it has in the last couple of years, pictures. Resumes do not need headshots. Companies do not want your picture on your resume because they are afraid it opens them to EEO problems and they don't want that. So if you put a picture on a resume, the recruiter who gets that resume, in order to pass it on, is gonna to have to get rid of that picture. Now you've made more work for the recruiter. And the average recruiter is pretty busy, so more work is not what they want. So skip those pictures. Have a great headshot on your LinkedIn profile. Put it on your Zoom ID and bio but skip it on your resume. And finally, tiny fonts and no margins. I know you wanna tell me everything so that I'll know what a wonderful person you are, but you have to have, have leave it so that I can read it. And so that means a nice, clear, sans serif font, 10 to 12 point size, and you want one, inch margins all around. Give that resume white space to breathe to make you look smart and to make you look like you are the right person for them to talk. So those are the no's. 